Okay, hello everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics, and in this video tutorial series, we have two tutorials. We're going to show you how to bring vMix into Skype, GoToMeeting, WebEx, whatever video conferencing software you're using, and we're going to show you how to bring video conferencing software like Skype, GoToMeeting, WebEx into vMix. It's two very different reasons for using these pro these uh, solutions. Let's look at the first one here. So if you want to bring Skype into vMix and really vMix back into Skype, you're hosting your own talk show. So you, if you want to go to that video, that's our next tutorial. You can click here to skip it, skip right over to it. But that tutorial is going to go over Skype into vMix. If you just want to take the vMix software into Skype for doing green screening effects, lower thirds and stuff like that. We're going to talk about that in this video. So both questions we get asked a whole lot and seems like people need to know a little bit more about them. So we're going to, I'm going to explain it to the best of my possibilities here today. And uh, these are the two big use cases that we've seen kind of bubble up in the stratosphere for using broadcast software with video conferencing, using video conferencing software to host live broadcasts. So let's get started. So the very first thing you need to know is that, that, that Zoom can create what's called a virtual webcam. And this virtual webcam basically takes everything in Zoom and brings it into a virtual webcam that you can select in Skype, GoToMeeting, WebEx. So you can have all the lower thirds, the virtual sets is very popular, uh, using green screens, chroma keys, all of that, can, and even media presentations can all be very easily pumped into Skype or GoToMeeting or WebEx via a virtual webcam. So let me show you the external button in um, vMix. So you see down here, there's a little settings bar I'm going to open up to show you. I would suggest running it in 720 because that's what most video conferencing softwares accept. If you're using Skype for Business or something that does 1080, feel free to do that. When you click that little red button there, which is that, that enables um, your external webcam. Once you've done that, I'm going to, this, this, this is going to, going to have a, a mirroring effect. I'm just going to let you know now that because I'm showing you, this is, um, zoom video conferencing. And what you can do is you can go in here and click vMix video. I'm going to click it on and click it off because, oh, sorry. External wasn't on. So that's kind of a good thing. Click it on. There's going to be a windowing effect because I'm, sh I'm selecting something that's inside of something else so I apologize but I couldn't really figure out any other way to show that and basically that's it and that is used for hosting your own live talk show we're gonna look at in the next video because you want to send the return video back to um, your viewers and your video conference call but in this video we just showed you how to create a virtual webcam which takes anything in vMix and allows you to bring it up in Skype GoToMeeting WebEx there's a huge use case for that creating really great forgive me for saying kick-ass presentations in GoToMeeting WebEx or Skype where you've got virtual sets backgrounds uh, effects extra media you can play videos without having to really deal with um, you know what Skype and GoToMeeting and WebEx offer which is very basic it's screen sharing capabilities you know taking it to the next level with a video production software is basically the use case here in our next video in the description below we will show you how to host your own live show with video conferencing thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe we have free live streaming courses below um, thanks for watching everybody take care